I'm more than I to find out. It is the first day of spring today. Happy first day of spring. And it's it's not that sunny outside, but it is the first day of spring nonetheless. So if you see a daffodil, think of me, Kofi. Yay, my favourite colour. So my story this morning this is The Giant of Lake Wakatipu by Peter Gossard. Inside the book, it says, with thanks to Russell Clark, whose illustration, Breakfast Time in the Pa, provided inspiration for this book. I thought I would just acknowledge that. The Giant Blood of Lake Waka Tipu. In the southern island of New Zealand, which the Māori called Waipaunamu, there lived a beautiful young woman, Manata, and her lover, Matakodi. One day, Manata went missing. People searched everywhere for her. Matakodi and her father found a giant footprint in the soft clay by the river. It is Mato, the giant who has taken her, said Manata's father. The people drew closer together in fear, for Mato was a giant who lived in the snow-capped mountains. Matakauri did not speak. He set off to try and rescue his lover. After a long search, he found her. When Manata saw Matakauri, she ran to him and hid her face in his shoulder. I cannot escape, my darling, said Manata. He has tied me to him with his cord. You would be killed if the giant awakes. While the wind blows from the northwest, Mato will sleep, said Matakodi. Only when the wind changes will he wake up. Matakauri raised his mere and struck the cord, but the mere bounced off. The cord had been made from the skin of a two-headed dog, which cannot be cut by greenstone. Manata's tears rolled down her face and one splashed onto the cord. Like magic, it parted. The two lovers made a mōkihi out of dried bulrushes. They climbed onto it and were soon back at their pa. At the kōrero that night, Matakauri said, The northwest wind still blows, but when it changes, the giant will wake. 
that we will never be safe until he is dead. Manata looked at her and our sleeping people and knew in her heart that only her lover Matakauri could kill Mato. Matakauri followed the cord until it led him to the giant sleeping on a bed of bracken and scrub. He heaped more branches around Mato. Then he made a flame with his fire sticks and set it alight. The fire roared up and Mato, Mato burst into flame. The great fire burned down into the earth, making an enormous trench. The giant's body turned to ashes. All that was left was his beating heart. Then it began to rain. The heat of the fire had melted the snow on the surrounding mountains. Water poured into the vast gash in the earth and filled it to the brim. Today it is Lake Wakatipu in the South Island of New Zealand. Its water level rises and falls with the beating of Mato's heart. Look at the map and see if you can find it. Hope you are all having a beautiful first day of spring. Kakitia hoho.